Hey YouTubers, this is Gary One again with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the uh, choice box function of the Easy GUI library for Python. Uh, I have a whole playlist of other videos talking about different functions of Easy GUI. So if you're interested in those, go ahead and go check out the playlist Easy GUI tutorials. So you see, we've already got a file started here. We've already imported Easy GUI. Now I'm also, in addition to demonstrating the functionality of choice box I'm also going to show you a different way of passing arguments uh, like the message and title to the other functions uh, you may remember in some of the other ones I've been like you know choice box message equals title equals things of that nature I'm going to show you a different way to go about doing those uh, doing that you can set variables you know message equals uh, please make a choice all right title equals you know choice box and uh, choices is going to be an array because a situation where you might choose to use the choice box instead of just a button box with four or five buttons would be an instance where you've got a whole lot of choices you want somebody to pick one from you know it's not just going to be two or three because it was just if it was just two or three you could just make a button box with two or three buttons and have them click a button uh... so in choice box you're going to have a whole lot of options so let's say choice one ice cream comma space for separation choice two soda pop comma space choice three cake end quote and and close bracket now it may also be useful to remember that in Python you can use a backslash uh, to continue a line uh, let's say you you wanted to keep this line here from extending let's say you had seven or eight choices here right let's say alright and let's go ahead and relabel these here four five six alright we got six choices but we don't want this line this long so that if somebody opens this in a text editor they don't have to go scrolling over to see everything right you can say put a back, uh, backslash right here and backslash is an escape character in Python so with this backslash we can now bump this down a line and Python still sees this as one big bracket because this backslash uh, basically tells it to ignore the new line character that's uh, created when you press the enter key. Uh, so that kind of helps keep your code readable. So now to actually implement the choice box, you're just going to say choice box equals, or no, choice box, parenthesis, and then instead of saying message equals message, you could just put message, comma, title, comma, choices, and bracket. All right. There we go. Escape that out of there. And then uh, we go down here to our little terminal, and we're going to say dot slash food up ui, and we should get our choice box that we just created here. Now you see, it's got scroll bars and things built in here. You don't need them yet because we don't have that many choices on here, but uh, they are there if you need them and you could just keep going and going and going with choices so this is why choice box is, use, uh, is more useful than say a button box in a situation where you've got a whole lot of options All right. so but in order to use the value returned by choice box just like a uh, button box or things of that nature we need to make it a variable so we're going to say var equals choice box and then we're going to say uh, message box message equals var title equals title and that's good and that should bring up a message box to show us I think I, I typed this wrong I think it's just I think I forget and we pick one there we go and it tells us what we got now instead of creating if statements uh, saying if var is equal to and then this string of text you could say something to the effect of 
if var is equivalent to choices uh, bracket let's say if we choose choice 2 soda pop that would be position 1 then we're going to say message box message equals you chose soda pop yay title equals title end quote and so now what did I say if it equals this one it'll say you chose soda pop uh oh what did we do wrong ah so that function properly it just brought this one up first there we go delete that one we choose that one you chose soda pop yay so now we have implemented a choice box that is equal to a variable so that the choice that you make renders a specified output and now in this case we have only created an if statement for one of the possible choices so you're going to have to create if statements or or some other method of handling the output of the choice box so that uh, you can work with it uh, but this is the easy GUI choice box uh, I hope you guys have found this video useful if you have any questions comments concerns or suggestions uh, please feel free to post them below in the comment section and I'll address them as necessary this is Gary one out you all have a good one.